Good evening. Good evening, Oscar. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening, Hector. It's almost time, right? Today is Monday. We are starting a new week. Okay, let us wait a little bit for the rest. Aidan got into the class. That's quite good. I can see Aidan. Aidan, hello, good evening. Okay, let us wait a little bit. We are missing like four minutes. Let us wait a little bit, okay, for the rest of the people. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Aidan, are you ready? Are you ready, Aidan? I hope you are ready, right? Today we have presentations, okay, about your project. And also I have some, some activities, right? So that we can have a good time together. You see, today is the session number 19 and tomorrow will be the session number 20, which is the last one. I can see Raquel, hello, Raquel. Raquel is trying to get into the class now. Good evening, Raquel. Hector said, okay. All right, Hector, I got your message, okay. Good evening, Raquel. Are you there? Can you listen to me? Quite good, Gilberto got into the class also. It says getting better, right? So. Almost time to start. Have five people. Hilberto, good evening. Wow, Veralis is getting into the class. Good. Aidan, Hector, Hilberto. Good evening, Veralis. Good evening, teacher. Good to see you. Are you ready for tonight's activities? Me falta poquito todavía. I don't Voy a necesitar uno, unos minutos. <laughs> okay, don't worry. You will you will be giving you a couple of minutes, okay? I can okay. see Henry, I can see Gladys. Quite good, it's getting better. Henry, Gladys, welcome. Rachel, say, uh, Raquel, say hello. Good evening, good evening buddy. Uh, Raquel, did you get my message to, today? I hope you, you could have seen my message. Do you see my message in, in the WhatsApp? In WhatsApp, Raquel? Check WhatsApp, please, Raquel. Now I can see, wow, a lot of people. Rona and Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan, welcome. Hope everybody is ready. Okay, today is a, a special day, you know, because Today and tomorrow will be our last sessions of the of the basic English course, right? So later you're gonna move to another level of English and that, that will be fantastic. So tonight it's a special because you are going to uh, you are going to show everyone about your your advancement in English. Okay, that's the that's quite important. Okay, it's eight o'clock. I will check the list attendance. Welcome. I can see Maricela got into the class. Good evening, Maricela. Welcome. I will check list attendance. So be ready. Hello, hello. Hope you are you are more than ready to to start with the activities. I think it's a, a good idea to start with the presentations. Well, we will see. We will see. Okay, we will see. 
uh, because I need to see everybody in the class. Okay, now we check list attendance, people. I have, well, let me see. Okay, over here. Welcome. Now say hello. Aidan, I know Aidan is over here. Hello, Aidan. Allison. Raquel is over here. Camelia. It's not here yet. Dina Maribel. Gerardo is over here. I saw Gerardo. Gilberto, good evening. Gerardo, Gilberto. Well, he's Gilberto is over here. Okay, remember to answer. Okay, say hello, right? Gladys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Gladys. Hector Salvador. I know Hector is there. Henry. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. This is Harlem. Present. Okay, it's Harlem. Jonathan Josue. Present. Okay, Mayra Norabel. Good evening, Mayra. María Elba. María Elba, good evening. So Mary is not over here either. Maricela. Hi. Hi. Miguel Ángel. Norma Xiomara. Oscar Josué. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Eh, Ronan. Present teacher, present. Good. Salvador Santiago. Hey, Santiago is not here tonight. Vera Liz. Present teacher. Okay, Vera Liz Vidal. Present teacher. And Claudia. And Claudia. Okay, Claudia's not here yet. All right. So, well, today is going to be a, a, an excellent day. It's a, a great day to, to, to show everybody about our, our advancement in English, right? I can see Raquel say I can't talk at the moment, teacher. Just okay, okay, Raquel. It's all right. Okay, well, th there is somebody who told me, hey, teacher, I need a couple of minutes, okay, to finish my presentation for tonight. Remember, everybody is presenting. Okay, um, I hope that you have prepared something. I I will allow you to. Uh, I will give you some minutes, okay. I will give you some minutes, and I will allow you to to uh, present the information or the project that you have created, okay? Remember, it's for tonight. Anyways, I have something on here. I have um, a couple of exercises, okay? So that we can we can uh, start by, by uh, warming up the class, okay? I will go over the, act, the first activity as soon as possible, okay? Okay. I can, I can share. Give me a second, please. No, yes. Okay. We are over here. We are in, in a platform, right? So we have been discussing about prepositions of place, 
Uh, there is and there are. And uh, well, we were practicing about prepositions of play last time. And tonight, it is time to practice. As you can see, vocabulary practice, right? And after that, well, tomorrow we're going to continue talking about there is, there are, and some adjectives, okay? But tonight, tonight I have this exercise, okay? This exercise number number 19 in the platform. And, uh, well, this is some vocabulary we learned the last time. Okay, and now let me see. How do you pronounce this, this word, people? Who can help me with that vocabulary? You. Huge. Okay, huge. Now, I wonder, I wonder if the adjective, because it's an adjective, right? I wonder if this adjective is positive, ne negative, or neutral. Neutral. Yeah, neutral. Uh, how do you say this this uh, adjective? Can somebody help me with this? E illuminated. Illuminated. What do you think? Is it positive, negative, or neutral? Positive. It is positive, right? Uh, what about this one? Help me with this, this pronunciation, please. Smelly. Smelly, good. Positive, negative, or neutral? Negative. It is negative. Now, what about number four? Can somebody help me with this with this adjective? Comfortable. Is it positive, negative, or neutral? Comfortable. Hello, people. Positive, negative, or neutral? Hello, hello. What do you think? Positive. Okay, Vidal says that's positive. All right, so it's positive. Quite good, comfortable. Now, what about this one? How do you pronounce that, that adjective? Disgusting. Disgusting, right? And disgusting says Vidal, that's negative. Okay, let's check. So this is vocabulary we studied the last time, right? All right. So the first one is neutral. Second one, positive, third one, negative, and before positive, and, and the last one is negative. So this is simple, right? So we were we were discussing, or we were um, talking about the way to use adjectives in English. And to, to, um, tomorrow we are gonna continue talking about it. I think today we're gonna see a, a couple of things or a couple of exercises uh, about it, okay? But, let me see. After that, I want to know if you are now ready with your, with the project. I will start asking. So we're gonna we're gonna go over the the project just right now so that we can see if we if we have enough time. I have sixteen people connected, and it would be really nice if you start sharing the um, the project with the rest with the rest of the group. Okay. Now, for example, I will start with. Aidan, 
Okay, Ada. We're going to start with the project, okay? Ada, good evening. Okay, guys, uh, listen, vamos a, vamos a iniciar con los proyectitos, okay, con lo que ustedes han creado para este, um, que, que todos logren participar. Cuando ya todos participen, este, a excepción de los que están de oyentes, pues entonces este, ya iniciamos ya con las otras actividades, ¿ok? Lo que sí quiero asegurar es que todos tengan la oportunidad de, de participar, ¿ok? Eh, ok, Aidan is working at the office. Ok, let me see, I have, for example, eh, Camelia, good evening. Good evening. Okay, eh, no, it's the project. You didn't work on it? So don't worry. Do, tomorrow you will have your, your opportunity, okay, Camelia? Ah, está bien. Mañana, okay, so. Gracias. Okay, so Aidan, Camelia, Gilberto. Hello, Gilberto. Go ahead. Ah, no, Gladys. Gladys, go ahead, please. Okay. Let me okay. Go. Really good. Really like that. Gladys. After Gladys, uh, we're going to have Henry's participation. Okay. Okay, Gladys. We are all ears. Mm -hmm. Pueden ver mi presentación. Yes, we can. What, what I have learned from this basic matchup. Good. <laughs> right. Um, what have I learned from the, this basic one module? First, uh, I learned to pronounce the alphabet, the days, the months. Um, uh, example, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, P, W, X, Y, Z. And the date of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, Sunday, and Saturday. And uh, months and the years, in January, February, March, April, May, June, July, April, September, October, November, December. And second, I'll learn about the verb to be and use are and e and is. And is and he, she, it, e, a, r, s, u, we, you, they. And there, I'll learn about the equation as well as how they are structured. If, for example, they put together a question, do it as follow. Any on the WH word is used, then verb to be is used, follower be the subject, and finally the complement without forgetting the question mark like this. And example, and a WH. W work and and what who where when was why which one how who and in verb to be and is are and in the subject and example she he they your and complement. Mm. Uh, I learned to say to do, to do, to does, and a question, and how did they show the structure example? 
Ursula W. Ay, aquí está equivocado. The WH World, eh, el do o el das, el subject, el verb y el complement. Um, I learned to tell the time, for example, what time is it? And, and the first is it's one o'clock and the second is a square plus one and third is half past one. And the four is one for five. I also to learn about the preposition and add in on, for example, and at will be used when are the talking about the parts of the day and also for festive periods and proportion in will be used when they, they will talk about all the parts of the days the months the years and the centuries and preposition preposition on will be used when we talk about the dates date in parts of the day with adjective. And I also learned about process to give location, such as across the street, on the corner of, around the corner, down the street, on the right, on the left, and next to the between the elevation, the and finally, we learn to set the day and they are. And the day is when we speak in the singular, and there are issues when speaking the plural. And finish. Clap for your effort. Clap for your, your presentation. I really love that. Okay. Hey, really nice presentation. I think you were working a lot during the weekend, right? Great job. Great job. <laughs> Gladys, that was fantastic. Gladys. Awesome, because you included like uh, okay. I, I, in, a, in, a, in a very um, small presentation, you included everything and that was quite good. Congrats. So, as you can see, so far we have we have learned a lot, right? So basic English included a lot of uh, information, and that's I, I'm, I feel really glad about it. Okay, Henry says that he still needs some time. Let me see. What about you, Jonathan? Hello, teacher. Hello, Jonathan. Are you ready? Uh, no. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. okay no, so... no, 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 are you ready? Oh, no. Not yet. All right. So try to be ready, right? So I would, it's better if I ask for, yes. for, okay, it's better if I ask for people who are ready. Who's ready for tonight, people? Who's ready for tonight? Oscar? No, teacher. Yeah, okay. Oscar, Norma. No he terminado, teacher. Okay. Mañana se lo okay. Now, who's ready, people? Who's ready? Who's ready? Okay, volunteers for tonight? Well, if we if we don't have volunteers, don't worry. Okay, so tomorrow you will have your second chance. Okay, so uh, something that I, I would really uh, like to remember 
um, is about the activities that are in the platform, right? It's quite important for you to go and check if you are still missing a couple of activities. Um, tomorrow, you see, it's going to be the last the last day uh, with a basic a level of English, and I highly recommend you to go over the next step. At the end, I will provide some feedback about what I think it can happen uh, later in the following uh, levels of English. Okay, so, well, let us try to continue then. So, no hay voluntarios para esta noche. Okay, recuérdense que mañana, si no, si no logran eh, terminar de afinar su presentación o su actividad, mañana van a tener siempre la oportunidad de presentarlo, ok? Well, let me see. I have this. And we're going to go over it quickly. We have a lot of activities over here. Okay. Uh, we are saying goodbye to basic uh, level of English. We have been talking about addresses in places and you know we have been trying to get ready to okay to talk about directions of, of where my workplace and some else's are located this is what we have been uh, working on okay so there are there is some vocabulary over here Okay, remember today is a day for us to to um, work in the vocabulary we have here. Okay, now you are gonna help me help me with the pronunciation. Okay, I will I will check it and then you will tell me. Okay, you will tell me now. How do you say this? Bank. A bank. Okay, what is this? A restaurant. What about this? Pharmacy. That's a pharmacy, right? This one? School. That's a school. This one? Bookstore. That's a bookstore, right? And this one? Taxi stand. That's a taxi stand. This is a? Mall. This is a mall, right? A mall. This one? Clothes store. Clothes store. Very good. An electronic. That's an electronic store. Very good. Fire station. That's a fire station. Police station. That's a police station. Shoe store. That's a shoe store. Toy store. That's a toy store. Park. That's a park. <clears throat> a dry cleaners. A dry cleaners. Gas station. That's a gas station. Ah, uh, how do you this? Hotel. That's a hotel, right? Yeah. What about this? Supermarket. supermarket. It's a supermarket. Um, there's a convenience know. store a travel agency in oh, a charge okay so we we were we were talking about different places in a, in a city right so um, we already know what's a bank a restaurant a pharmacy etc right so you can see that you that you uh learn the vocabulary, right? And uh, for example, let me see, I will choose five. I will choose five. Now, one, two, three, uh, four, 
Uh, okay. All right. Now, what are the activities people do in those five in those five places, people? ¿Qué actividades se desarrollan en, eso, en esos cinco lugares? Let's start with the bank, please. Bank. Okay, let's start with this one. Ajá. Uh -huh. You can solve the net. Pueden, pueden, pueden buscar en internet, ¿ok? ¿Para qué son útiles estos lugares o por qué actividades se desarrollan ahí? A bank. In English, of course. In the pocket of money. A bank. Yeah, how do you say that in English? Deposit money. To deposit money. And how do you say para ahorrar dinero? Uh, okay. Okay. okay, to save money, right? Save money. What about the pharmacy people? Why do you go to a pharmacy? Buy medicine to get some medicine. Good. If I station, why if I station is important in a city? Why if I station is important in a city? Without fires. Two? Okay, they they keep our city safe from a fire, right? All right, very good. Let me see. Uh, Vidal says calling fire. All right, very good, Vidal. That's right. Now, what about a hotel? Why are hotels important in a country? Look for it, please. Sleep. <laughs> okay, to sleep. But what about tourist people? Okay, they can, they, they can stay in our country, right? With no problem. And what about a convenience store? Hmm. Okay, what what about what about the importance of having convenience stores in a city?
Hello, hello. What's the convenience store, people? Where is a convenience store? Who got it? Who got the meaning of a convenience store? Convenience store. What is a convenience store? Hello, hello. Buy food and drinks. All right. It is useful to go and buy some food and some drinks. Okay, we're going to do something, people. We're going to spend like 10 minutes, okay? Oh, let me see. Now it will be like, it will be easier. Okay, I will ask you about three uh, three places only. Okay. Ya vimos para qué son importantes estos lugares, ¿verdad? Okay, ustedes van a buscar tres más, solo tres, okay? Lo que ustedes quieran de estos que están acá. Y nos van a decir este acerca de las actividades que ahí se realizan o y porque esos lugares pues son importantes, ¿ok? Para una ciudad, ¿ok? Justo lo que acabamos de hacer con estos, ¿ok? Ya, eso ya no, porque ya ustedes nos dijeron por qué son importantes. ¿Ok? Investigate about three more. Elijan tres ustedes, tres. Voy a darles que siete minutos para eso, para que lo preparen y ya luego regreso. Siete minutos, los que ustedes quieran, ¿ok? Ok, people, are we clear about what we are doing? ¿Estamos okay, claros? Okay. ¿Sí, estamos claros? Ok, pretty good. Siete minutitos.
Hey, remember, what do people do in these places? What is this, the importance of these places? Tell me. Okay. All right, very good. And I school. And so the taking of its cell phone. Okay. And the taxi stand for transport emergency. All right, very. Emergency, Yeah, an emergency. Uh -huh. yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, that's quite good. What about the rest, people? Who can tell me about the mall? About a mall? Who got information about a mall? No one? What do people do at the mall? What do people do at a mall? Okay, tell me at, at, three, uh, uh, at least one sentence, please. Well, at school, you know, people go and study, okay, and teachers teach to students. And it is, you know, school is very important because everybody learns there. A bookstore, a taxi stand. And what about a mall? What do people do at a mall, people? Hello, hello. Well, I said to set a tour of the shopping. Okay. Do me the favor to include the answers in the chat. That would be quite good. Vayan incluyéndome las respuestas en el chat. Lo que han encontrado, ok. What about a clothes store? A clothes store. We have a lot, right? An electronic store, a police station. Ok, somebody type. A toy store, ah, that's a toy store, right? Yeah, we have a toy store, very good with that. A toy store, all right, the charge, very good, Gladys. Ah, I can see that you're working now pretty hard, but for a reason you don't want to speak tonight. A toy store, there are all kinds of toys. It is the children's favorite place, exactly with that. The Mary says, uh, well, a closed door it's for going to go for, for it's, it's a place to go shopping. Good. Parks, okay, we have park, help combat pollution, promote biodiversity in the core of large cities and facilitate temperature. Good. The church transmits to each believer the common faith. Good. In the clothes store, they sell useful and necessary products for all the people. Great. Very good. I like that. I like that. You see, every single place in the city is important, right? No matter if it is the school, no matter if it is a church or a toy store, everything is important in a city. Okay? Well, now if you want, you can create your own. Let me see. Uh, and also a school. A school is important because through education, we can train and learn to integrate with, with other people in a better way. Exactly, Camelia. Exactly, Camelia. I really love that. Quite good. So you see, we learned vocabulary, a bank, a restaurant, a pharmacy, but also we investigated about the places themselves. And that is extra information that you will keep into your mind. Now let's go over to the next part. Let me see if somebody participate. Maria said that school for teaching of each, exactly. School is a place for teaching 
people how to behave better. All right. Now, well, I have this. What what is this, people? Do you, you remember about this? What are these? Mm -hmm. Where are these? In on at. Oh. They are prepositions. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Preposition. Yes. Yes. But in this case, they can be prepositions of time, but also can be prepositions of place. Exactly. Time or place. So that's the difference. Now the rest are all about prepositions of excellent Vidal. Exactly. Uh, prepositions of place. Now, now, how do you say this one? Give, give me a second, please. How do you say this one? How do you pronounce it? Um, in, um, on, at, at. Across from, across from, among, among between, 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 of, in front of, near, near, near pass. pass. On the corner of, on the corner of, uh, behind, on the right, on the right, on the left, on the left, around the corner, around the corner, down the street, down the street, next to, Next to, along, along, under, and under, right? So we were also practicing these uh, prepositions of place, right? Most of them of place. All of them are prepositions of place, right? But we need, we, we have clear that in on art can be prepositions of time also. Good. Remember that uh, prepositions that, uh, of place, uh, well, actually, you know, one of the questions, one of the questions that we normally use to ask for a, a place is, where is, where is, where is the park, where is the museum, where is the mall, where is the church, where is the, um, the city hall, etc., right? And you need to keep in mind that you have to start by saying it is or it's. You know, when you say it is, you, you, over here we know that you are talking about the park. It is located among many places. Over here we have where's again, you see, where's the sport palace located? The sport palace. It's, now you can see it's important, right? Located on Barrio Street in front of the park. Yeah, where's, where's, once again, where's the mall located? It's located near the restaurant. And the last one, where's the church? The church, okay, it's, it is located past the school, all right? Now, this is like the, like, like the question we learned, but we, I, I, I also taught you some other, like, uh, ¿cómo, ¿cómo se aprendieron otras, aprendimos otras expresiones para decir, como, 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 por ejemplo, ¿cómo llego a, a tal lugar? Do you remember? It started with how? How can I get to? Okay, that's the way you ask for a place, right? Hey, how can I get to the to the to the museum? Okay, how can I get to the city hall? How can I get to the park? How can I get to the church? Okay, so you are asking for location, the location of a place. That's a different way to ask, right? 
Now, as you can see, first is the double H question word that we need to use, right? Words. And you see, it's important. Ask question with where for locations, okay? Where's the restaurant? Use it to replace the names of places. Okay, now over here, as you know, we are asking for the restaurant and over here we say, it, it's as if we say, the restaurant is next to the grocery store. It refers to the restaurant, okay? Refers to the restaurant. Where's, where is, you know, can be contracted. Where is, where's, it is also can be contracted. It's, okay? Where's, it's where it is it is all right so we're trying to make some some clarifications about about it later well you know there's a, a very small a, a conversation like excuse me where's the bank the bank it's on pine street thank you you're welcome now, uh, let me see, where's the bank? On Pine Street. Can you see the, the bank over here? Where's the bank, people? Let's yeah. imagine, it says, okay, Ronan, I got it. Okay, let's imagine we are over here. And I ask you, I am over here. And I ask you, excuse me, where is the bank? Where is the bank? What are the directions for you to tell me where the bank is? Yes. Imaginemos que yo estoy acá, ¿ok? Y yo le pregunto, hey, where, where's the bank? Turn left in Pine Street. Ok, turn left, but turn left is over here, right? Yes. How do you say, siga recto? Go straight. Ah, all right, go straight. ¿Cómo dicen una cuadra? Digamos una cuadra. Eso sí crea ese vocabulario, creo que sí no se lo enseño. Ah, one block. Ok, go straight, one block. Ajá, uh -huh. and then? Go straight, a block. Go straight. For a, for a block. Then? Then. Turn left. Turn left. Uh -huh. Where is it located? Mm -hmm. Near uh, King Plaza Hotel. Okay, very good. Good. What about if I want if I want you to tell me about let me see the Hamilton Hotel. But now you are over here. You are on First Avenue. Uh huh. Excuse me, where's the Hami Hamison Hotel? Uh -huh. I will I will I will let you know what about if we go this way? Uh -huh. How do will you provide directions? ¿Cómo le darían las indicaciones a esa persona? Uh -huh. Always try when block. Okay, go go down the street for a okay, go down the street. 
for a block behind them. Turn left in Pine Street. Oh, exactly. Turn left to Pine Street. And then? Then. Go down. The, they go down the street. On? Maples. On one Maples block. Maples Avenue. Avenue. Ah, so. And then? Left. Turn left again. And next to Frank Coffee. Yeah, it's next to Frank's Coffee. Very good. Excellent. Okay, so you see, info that we have been studying a lot, right? So we also studied about this. Okay, now over here, we have some exercises, okay? Uh, you have to rewrite each statement. You need to change the noun for the pronoun. I will give you an example, okay? So you're gonna do this. Vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Let me see. Okay, you know the noun. Van a identificar el nombre. The restaurant. Okay, you seen the first one. And then you will write down the sentence. Van a, van a reescribir la oración. Pero. En lugar de poner el nombre, van a poner el pronombre. Ok. Espero ver las respuestas en el chat para yo irlas colocando acá, ¿ok? Okay, and I included one more. I included one more, the last one, okay? The pharmacies are on the left. Okay, what about number two, people? Where is the noun in the number two? ¿Cuál es el nombre en la número dos? El... Hello, hello? In the number one, we have the restaurant. In the number two? The bookstore. The bookstore. Okay, how do you complete the sentence? Let me see it in the chat, please. The bookstore is around the corner. Uh huh. Very good, very good, Maribel, very good, Camelia. Great. Why are good? What about number three?
the new stand is the noun, right? Good. It's on the right. Very good, Vera Liz. Yeah, it's the same. It is the same. Okay. Yeah. It's on the right. It's on the right. But then we have what is the noun in the in the following in the number four? What is what is it now? It is. Yes. The, yeah, the school is it now, right? Okay. And let me see. Okay, type it in the chat, please. Good, Camelia. Very good, Veralis. It is next to the bank. What about number five? What is the noun? The pharmacy, right? What is the sentence? It's on the left. Cool. That's the way it is, Maria. It's on the left. The period is missing. Uh, I will see. Now, what about number six? The bank. Mm -hmm. The bank. Is the name, right? Uh -huh, the bank. Look at it, so there. It's between the bookstore and the newsstand. Good. Thank you, Mary. Now, I included one on here that says, give me a second. Now, the pharmacies are on the left. The pharmacies are on the left. The pharmacies are on the left. This is plural. The pharmacies are on the left. Uh -huh. What about this one? The pharmacies are on the left. Now I see the pharmacies are on the left. Uh -huh. How do you substitute the pharmacies? Hello? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo sustituiríamos en plural? De pharmacies. Porque si es una, ya sabemos que es iris. Pero si son varias. Ah, ah they. They. They are on the left okay they are on the left están a la izquierda they okay 
they are on the left. So any questions about it? Any question? Uh, something that you need to keep in mind, and I forgot it, is that you 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 have to remember about the period right at the end. It's very important. Okay. Any question? No questions? Okay, I will try to advance. I will I will try to advance. I will continue. Well, actually, it's over, right? It is over. So that means that it is time to put into practice what we have been uh, working on um, during these days. I will stop sharing this. And we're going to continue working in the next part. Okay, give me a second. Uh, it's over here. Okay, now, yeah, the last time also we were uh, working with there is and there are, right? And we were talking about uh, Mr. Paz and Mrs. Aguilar's core places, okay? And uh, you were just telling me about what's what is there in their uh, workplace? You also talked about your workplace, right? And we, we answered these questions, okay? But you see, there is and there are. Okay, uh, this is something that's gonna be useful uh, tomorrow. Okay, I, I will start working with it tomorrow, but I think it will be really nice if we go over it for a while. Okay. You know, over here we have, uh, I said last time that we have positive and we have negative adjectives, right? Positive and negative adjectives. And that comfortable is positive, huge. Can be positive or negative depending on what we are talking about. Nice places is positive and illuminated is positive. Narrow can be negative. Uh, disgusting is negative and smelly is negative. And I was just explaining about the place of the adjectives. Well, now, yes, we're going to complete this, okay, by using, uh, it says, complete the sentences using the words provided and the correct verb, okay. In order to do so, let us use the information we just were done in the previous one by saying it is or the gym is, okay. Now, how do you complete the first one? You said, complete the sentences using the words providing and the correct verb. In the previous one, yeah, there is, there are. There is and there are. Okay, tell me the first sentence, please. Well, I will ask one by one. I think it would be better. Uh, Aidan? Sentence number one. By using there is, there are, and by using the, the adjective in the right form. Hello, hello, people. 
Hello. Ya, small gym. I will help you with the first one. There is, there's a small gym. And that's it, right? And now I, I, I also remember I told you about saying the same, but in a different way, right? The gym the gym is small, right? So that's that would be number one. What about number two? Let me see. Maribel says there's there's a small gym. Very good, Maricel. Uh, uh, very good. Remember that um the use of Hello, pregunta, teacher. Eh, eh, en el número uno, se puede decir de ambas formas. Yeah, yeah, it can, it can, it all depends, right? Because if you say there is a, hay un gimnasio pequeño, y ya de ahí, pues lo único que yo les trato de mostrar es que el adjetivo puede cambiar de lugar acá. El gimnasio es pequeño. Okay. Hay un, digamos que en, en inglés, el adjetivo va a ir antes del, del nombre. Ok, pero también lo podemos poner. El, el verbo, si usted pone el verbo to be antes, ahí sí puede colocar el adjetivo después. Ok. Very good. Now let's go over the next. How will you solve number two? ¿Cómo haríamos el segundo? There is a new tiny There is. A new, a new, training, training rooms. Okay. ¿Por qué no está correcta la oración? ¿A dónde me dicen que está el problema? ¿Ah? There is, is a problem. This is a problem. There are. Ah, okay. So you say there are, right? Okay. There are. Ahora sí, ya lo tenemos, ¿sí o no? Okay. No. ¿Todavía falta algo? Let's analyze it, please. Mm. Ya está bien. Sería igual en la forma contractada, ¿verdad? Este no se puede contractar, there are. Oh, no, no. Hoy sí ya está bien, entonces. Ok, Vidal dice que ya está bien. Ajá, ¿y qué pasa si yo les digo que está malo todavía? Falta una N después de la new, el timing. En training. Yes. Ok, spelling. ¿Y qué, ¿Y qué si les digo que todavía está malo? Sí. Ah. Puede ser en Hulu, estaría sin S. Sin S. Sin S, sí, uh... entonces, ¿y qué si les digo que todavía está mal? Sí. Ok. 
Okay, Vidal. Okay, Vidal got it, right? La S no, no era el problema. ¿Cuál era el problema, Vidal? Era esto, ¿eh? Oh. Ah, porque ya lo vamos a ocupar con singulares. There are new training rooms. Ajá, y si, y si escribimos que los training rooms eh, son nuevos, ¿cómo lo hacemos? Da. The training. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh, the training. So. Rooms. The training rooms are new. Good, period, right? The training rooms are new. Great. Okay, what about number three? This is number three. Clean cafeterias. Okay, Norma, very good. Aha. Uh -huh. Oops, give me a second, please. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, what about if I tell if I'm telling you that the sentence is not it's not perfect? ¿Qué le falta la oración? ¿O qué habría que corregirla? Entender las mayúsculas. Ah, okay, very good. Al principio, tiene que ser mayúscula. There are clean cafeterias. In the period, right? Yeah. Aunque aquí ya lo, ya lo ponen aquí, ¿va? pero es bueno recordarlo. Okay, now, there are clean cafeterias. Now, what, how do you say las cafeterías son limpias? In English. Okay. The cafeterias are clean. They are Uh, no. 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 Yeah, normal. Oh, you say the cafeterias, right? The cafeterias. Uh, are. Are. Clean. Uh, or, si quisiéramos usar el pronombre, they are clean. Mm. They are clean. Okay, very good. Now, what about number four? Number four. Smart meeting room. There is. There is. A small living room. A small living room. Huh? I said small, right? No, but small, okay? Small. Small living room. Yeah, it's a mistake there. There is a small living room. Uh -huh. uh, there is a small meeting room. There, yeah, that's right. Small meeting room. Good. It's okay. I, I said living, right? And it's not living. It is meeting. There is a small meeting room. Good. Now, yes, right? Now, what about saying that the room is small? 
It is. Uh huh. It is a small room. That's the way it should be. Okay, number five. Number five. And please some bathrooms. Mm. There is or there are? Tell me. Uh, it's because I'm trying to, I'm trying to, estoy tratando de usar ambas para que ustedes se den cuenta que, por ejemplo, aquí, en el, en el primero, there is a small gym. Si yo digo, the gym is small, está bien, pero si yo utilizo el pronombre, bueno, vamos, vamos a ocupar el pronombre. Creo que por ahí viene la pregunta. Si digo, right, the gym is small, y yo quiero utilizar el pronombre, it is small. Es similar al, es sim, similar al ejercicio que estábamos haciendo en la presentación. Si ¿Sí se recuerda. Solo que acá nosotros ya sabemos que estamos hablando del gym. Esto sustituye al gym. ¿ver? Esto. Esto es como que dijéramos de gym. Ya nosotros sabemos que nos referimos al gimnasio. Entonces acá es lo mismo. There is a small meeting room. Podríamos decir that the meeting, the meeting room is small or it is a small room. Ok. Is it clear? Is it clear? There are unpleasant bathrooms. Ok, Vidal. Veamos este. De, there are unpleasant bathrooms. There are unpleasant bathrooms. Very good. That was Vidal, I think. Good, Vidal. Now, if we, want to, if we want to continue using the noun, si queremos seguir utilizando el nombre, que es este, ¿verdad? Este, el nombre está en plural. Ok. So here, right? Si lo queremos seguir ocupando, solo colocamos. The bathrooms are unpleasant. Ahora, si queremos ocupar el pronombre, ¿cómo, cómo diría? ¿Cuál sería el pronombre para the bathrooms? They. They, all right. They are unpleasant. They are unpleasant. All right. Now, what about tiny cubic cubicle? Who can help me with this one? Somebody in the chat, please. There is or there are? Very good. Now, Maribel says there is. Tell me, Jonathan. Um, there is. There is there a is. tiny. There is. Uh, give me a second.
porque está en singular, ¿o no? Ya eres singular. There is, okay. Now, different way to write it down. Yeah, Norma, that's the way it is. That's the way it is, Norma. Okay, so actually, that's that's the way we should work with it, right? So, uh, we identify the adjective. We identify adjectives. We identify um, the verb, right? New is the adjective. The verb there is a verb to be. Okay, the verb to be. And remember to use the, the article, indefinite article, after the indefinite article, the adjective, and then the noun, right? And that's the way it is. Any question? Oops. Any question? No questions? Okay. No questions. Now, what are we gonna do now, people? Well, since, well, tomorrow we will continue with this. Okay. You are going to, uh, well, last time you, you started, right? Comenzaron a describir el lugar de trabajo algunos. No question, very good, Maribel. Algunos comenzaron a describir sus lugares de trabajo, ¿verdad? Pues fueron como uno o dos los que los describieron, ¿ok? Y necesito que, pues, que sea la mayoría, ¿verdad? Así que, este, les voy a dar la opción. No sé por qué han estado tan callados en, en este día, ¿ok? Pero les voy a dar la opción de hacer una descripción de manera escrita o eh, presentárnosla, ¿verdad? De manera oral a modo que se sientan cómodos, ¿verdad? Necesito que me describan sus lugares de trabajo. Si alguien ya lo hizo de manera oral, lo puede trabajar de manera escrita y seguirle, eh, seguirlo describiendo, porque en los lugares de trabajo hay mucho que describir, ¿ok? Nos podemos basar en, en el espacio en sí, en los muebles, en las personalidades de nuestros compañeros de trabajo, en el ambiente laboral. O sea, hay mucho de qué hablar ahí. Eh, les voy a dar que unos 10 minutos. 10 minutos. Ok, para que lo hagan y lo puedan compartir. Ok. ¿Está bien? ¿Estamos claros? Are, are we clear about what's, what's coming? Claudia? Hi. Okay, are we clear? Yes. Yeah, okay, so you have you will have 10 minutes. Okay, after those 10 minutes, you you will tell us about your workplace, okay? The areas of your workplace and extra information that you wanna you want to include. Okay, 10 minutes, people. Okay.
Excellent, Veralis. Don't worry. I will give you. I will give you your time. Okay. Okay.
Okay, I can see that there are some people who already finished, okay? So let us try to take advantage of time. Let's see, that was, give me a second, please. Well, Beralis is ready, and also Maria. Sí, teacher, pero eh, yo estoy con la presentación que había pedido para hoy. Ah, okay, so, okay, so why don't we, uh, okay, I will stop sharing on here and then you, you start with your presentation, okay? Yeah. Okay, here we go. No, me sale que no es compatible, espérame un momento. Un momento, por favor. Ok. So, Miguel Vera Liz uh, solves the problem. Let us listen to Maria, okay, Mary? Bueno, le escribimos en el lugar de trabajo. Our workplace is a big espacio. There is a desk, a computer, and there is a special chair. And a table, there is a shelf and writing chair. Okay, okay, excellent, Maria. Pretty good. There is in there, right? That's what I'm looking for. All right, to you for you to put into practice the grammar and the vocabulary. Thank you, Mary. Now, anybody else? Is there anybody else? Is there anybody else? Volunteers, let me see. Well, we are, we are waiting for Sarlim and Oscar. Okay, Oscar, I think you are more than ready, right? At work, we are 250. Wow. Oscar, let us know about it, please. Lo he terminado, lo envié por error, teacher. Okay. So, but you're almost done, right? Almost done. Ya casi lo termino. Okay, people, I will wait for you. Okay, Maria is done. What about Aidan, Camelia, Claudia, Gilberto, Glad? Well, Gladys is already participating, right? Henry, Hector, Jonathan, Mayra. Well, most of you are over here. That's I really love that. But I would really appreciate you were you you participate in the class. Henry, go ahead with your with your participation, please. Henry. Hello, teacher. Hello. In my workplace, the areas are lo logistic and dispatch. There are only two people, one who is from logist and my person who is the accountant. We have a desk, a printer, and each one is laptop. Thank you. Okay, very good. Now, as you can see, Henry mentioned like, we have, we have a desk, we have a, a laptop. Okay, so, but that, that's quite good. Okay, and you can also say, oh, but, but that is about position, right? La diferencia entre have y there is es que we have or I have, yo tengo, okay, o tenemos. Si hablamos de existencia, hay, there is, hay, hay un, there is a laptop, hay una laptop, okay, and there are some desks, y hay algunos escritorios, there are some desks, okay? 
Precisimos, uh, we have some desk. Tenemos algunos escritorios. Okay. We need to be clear about it. Thank you, Henry. Thank you very much. Now, anybody else? Is there anybody else in the group who wants to participate? Yep. Okay, Gladys, go ahead. Um, right. And my work workplace, and there is a desk, monitor, there is a computer, mouse, keyboard, there is a there is a telephone. It is illuminating. Illumine, ¿Cómo se dice iluminación? <laughs> it, it is illuminated. Illuminated. There are two dressers. There are many boxes with poppers. Finish. Okay. How many people are there in your in your job, Gladys? How many people? Like around 200 people? Yeah. 200, 250. No yeah, idea? 20, 20, 25. Right, 25 people working there. Good. Okay. 25 co workers. Good. Okay, thank you, Gladys. Okay, now that was fantastic. Now, let me see. Anybody else who wants to participate? Claudia. Okay. Okay, Claudia. My, pla my place of works in the administration in financial department. A woman and a man work in the department. We have, there are three days. There are two computers, there are three pipes, there are six servers, there are two printers. We process information in a county system. Finish. Thank you very much, Claudia. Okay, now, uh, shelves. Okay, it's transition shelves. Okay, but that was quite good. Thank you, Claudia. That was fantastic. And I also have, I think, Norma, right? Mm, who wants to participate? Volunteers? More volunteers? Oh, that's Camelia. Okay, Camelia, go ahead. My workplace is nice, several spaces. There are different areas. We had parking for employees and clients. It has free trees and it is located in the central area of Sunsuntepec. Fantastic. Hey, I forgot to tell you something, okay? Uh, let me see. I, I will share with you. So that I need to clarify something here. Uh, oh, let me see. Okay, what do you see in this exercise, people? What is the adjective? ¿Cuál es el adjetivo? Mm. 
What is the adjective? Yes. Okay. Very good. Now, question. Is it correct? Está bien la oración. Yes or no? Look, this is the adjective, right? Ya dijeron que es el adjetivo. En inglés, los adjetivos nunca se hacen plurales. ¿Ok? En español sí, ¿verdad? Nosotros decimos, los cuartos de entrenamiento son nuevos, ¿ok? Son nuevos. Sí lo pluralizamos, ¿verdad? En español, pero en inglés no. ¿Ok? En inglés no, jamás vamos a pluralizar un adjetivo. ¿Ok? Entonces, por eso decimos new, el adjetivo siempre va a ser igual. Lo que nos va a decir que son varios es esto, ¿no? la pluralización del nombre. Entonces, esto no lo necesitamos. ¿Ok? Our new. ¿El qué? Los cuartos. Uh, what about this one? Mire, no le vamos a incluir, aunque sea plural, no le vamos a incluir una S. Lo mismo acá. De cafeterías, si está en plural, pero el adjetivo se mantiene igual. ¿Ok? Ok. Uh, that's why I really love these sessions when they are with when they are um focused on vocabulary and grammar. Por eso me gustan estas sesiones para ir aclarando pequeños detallitos. Now, is there any other volunteer? Any other volunteer who wants to participate? We still have some time. Okay, that's Maribel. Hello, Maribel. So you have your time. So... I think Maribel has, I don't know if you have problems with with microphone, but she she typed. I work in a company with a lot of experience where we work in a as customer service. Based on the need of each client, my area, give me a second, that my area is to Archive the receptions about. Okay, so I can attend to all the dependencies. I like this because it is a quiet and busy place. It's a quiet and a busy place. Okay. Okay, that was quite good. Okay, I think we are almost done with it. Uh, well, I will check the list of attendance people. Then we are going to talk a little bit about what's coming tomorrow, okay? Ayúdenme con la lista, por favor. Veo que casi todos están acá. Allison. Well, Adam. Aidan is over here. So Allison. Oh, Alison typed something in the chat that you remember. Uh, Andrea Raquel. Camelia. Present. Okay. Maribel. Presente. Gerard okay. Gerardo.
Gilberto, Gladys, present. Okay, Salvador, Henry, present teacher. Okay, Sarlene. I know Sarlene is there and she's facing problems with my group. Norabel. Maria Elba. Present teacher. Maricela. Present. Norma Xiomara. Present teacher. Okay. Oscar Josué. Present teacher. Ronan García. Present teacher. Salvador Santiago. Santiago, are you there? Okay, Mayra says present and also Ada. Okay. Well, Salvador is not here. Vera Liz. Present teacher, y la disculpa por mi presentación porque si sí tuve que un inconveniente, pero ya la tengo lista para el día de mañana. Ok, Vera Liz, don't worry, ok. Eh, Vidal. En Claudia Verónica. Ok, very good. Hey, listen. It's, quite, it's been quite good. Ok, now let me see. Yeah. Okay, let us talk a little bit about what's happening tomorrow. Okay, and also let me let me like, tell you about Okay, Jonathan says present, Hector also, Raquel, very good. Tina, okay. Now, let's see. Mañana tendríamos nuestra última Ay, sesión. Bien, tendríamos nuestra última sesión. Espero que, que lo hayan disfrutado tanto como yo lo he disfrutado. Mamá. Ok, y Ay, este es lo más importante que espero que hayan aprendido. Hay muchas cosas en inglés que no, no solo implica el, el aprendizaje del lenguaje como tal. No, es, esto lleva un poquito más de, de, de ese aprendizaje de vocabulario, de gramática, de listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Pero también lleva aprendizaje actitudinal. Y cuando nosotros nos equivocamos, aprendemos a a corregir el error, pero aprendemos también a, a vencer nuestros temores. ¿Ok? Saben que los temores son los que nos bloquean muchas veces nuestros caminos, porque muchas veces decimos, no, quizás, quizás no, no, no va a estar bien lo que yo voy a no, hacer. Okay. O, y ese miedo crea como una inseguridad y ya no, y ya no doy el paso. Entonces, yo antes de, 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 de cerrar el, el nivel, pues quiero decirles que el aprendizaje no, no va solo respecto al idioma. Se van a enfrentar a otras a otros diferentes este, maneras de enseñar. A, a, van a ver lo excelente que son mis compañeros de trabajo, pero también así ellos son exigentes. Si ustedes se fijan, yo estoy en básico y, y todos los días les pedí tarea todos los días, no hubo un día que no les pidiera tarea. Y también sabía de que su tiempo es limitado, porque lo tengo muy claro, que su tiempo es limitado. Pero este, es bueno que cuando tres, nosotros tengamos dos, lista tres, nuestra, tres. nuestra no, participación, no, 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 no. Nuestra, nuestra, nuestro contenido, lo que hemos preparado, que demos el paso, que no nos quedemos con no, eso. Pues, que demos el paso. que terminar eso. No quitas el pinche teléfono. Que demos el paso porque si no lo damos, eso lo que va a hacer es que, que no avancemos. 
que están en básico, ok, eh, espero que, espero yo saber de ustedes más adelante, mañana pues realmente pues ya les voy a dar lo, los últimos consejos de, para que puedan avanzar, esperaría que todos se puedan inscribir en el siguiente nivel, porque este, de esa manera van a aprovechar su tiempo. Y hay algo que, que yo siempre he, he considerado sumamente importante y eso es terminar lo que uno comienza. Es muy, muy valioso. Yo sé que hay diferentes realidades y que algunos quizás no van a poder, porque ahí estoy viendo como por ahí un par de comentarios que quizás alguno o, o dos de nuestros compañeros no van a poder seguir. Pero yo sí les hago el llamado a que lo hagan. Si no pueden todos, pero que en su mayoría que sí lo hagan. Que no lo vayan a dejar suelto, apenas vamos en el primer nivel. Eh, falta mucho camino por delante. Que aunque nos cueste, que hagamos el esfuerzo. ¿okay? Que sigamos adelante y que aprendamos. Yo quiero que el día que yo lo vuelva a encontrar, pues verlos en un nivel de avanzado. ¿Verdad? Que... Ya ustedes pues pueden hablar que hacer presentaciones de media hora, de crear conversaciones, discusiones en inglés. Eh, eso es lo que yo espero ver en algún momento de parte de este grupo. Eh, no sé si hay algún comentario, alguna participación en específico. Las personas que no tuvieron el espacio o, o no pudieron completar su tarea, pues sepan que mañana van a tener su espacio, ¿verdad? Especialmente con respecto a la, a la presentación de, o a lo que ustedes crearon respecto a lo que han aprendido en el nivel básico. Eso es importante porque nos va a dejar un buen sabor de que en realidad el tiempo que invertimos acá ha sido significativo, ¿ok? Eh, y se van a llevar eso, eh, esa, esa satisfacción de decir, wow, estuvimos un mes con el con, con el nivel de básico y creo que me llevo lo necesario para seguir avanzando. O sea, ese sentimiento de, de llevar lo, las, la, 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 las herramientas necesarias para el siguiente nivel, yo necesito que ustedes se, se sientan apoderados, empoderados, perdón, de, de esas destrezas y de, eso, de ese vocabulario, de esa gramática que hemos venido aprendiendo. Si no hay este, el, ninguna participación, pregunta, lo dejamos acá y nos vemos mañana. ¿Les parece? Ok, teacher. Okay. ok, so, good night, people. See you tomorrow. Una consulta, teacher. Uh, tell me, eh, Oscar. Con la encuesta que los mandaron, fíjese que yo no encontré su nombre, teacher. Uh, no estaba el nombre ahí. Les... No, teacher, no estaba. Igual, a mí no me sale su nombre. Va, entonces, a lo que... eh, ¿A dónde les enviaron esa encuesta? Porque yo no la tengo. Ahí es en el, el grupo que mandaron. Háganme, ah, okay. háganme un favor. Si, <risa> si todos tuvieron esa dificultad, escriban en el, en el grupo, por favor, que no encontraron el nombre del docente que los, que los está atendiendo. Porque sí, mandaron dos. Yo, yo me y... recuerdo igual, teacher, que no, no encontré eh, su nombre. Vaya, entonces este, coloquémoslo en el grupo, por favor, para que le reenvíen este, el formulario en donde sí aparezca mi nombre. Ok. Ok. Vaya, pues entonces los veo mañana y ha sido un placer estar con ustedes. See you tomorrow, people. Gracias, teacher. Gracias, See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah, tomorrow.